Hi, how are you doing? This is Project Spy Doing. Welcome to the series of hands-on sessions in which we familiarize ourselves with MySQL, one of the most popular databases. I'm Manu Vasudevan, data analyst and certified AWS solutions architect at your service. The target audience is aspiring data analyst. What good is any knowledge when not put to good use? Follow along in our SQL journey in which we explore some basic SQL commands, as usual, by doing. In this episode, we will create the authors table. Having launched MySQL Workbench, let's create the library database in MySQL. Key in the command create database library. Terminate the command with the mandatory semicolon. Press enter. Make sure your cursor is within that line of code and run the command by clicking the lightning bolt with the keyboard cursor. Click the refresh button. Note that the library database shows up as a node on the schema panel to the left. Now let's use the library database. Key in the command use library semicolon. Press enter. MySQL commands are not case sensitive. Feel free to use lowercase, uppercase, or mixed case letters. Again, run the command by clicking the lightning bolt with the keyboard cursor. Click the refresh button. You could even double click on the library database that has just shown up on the schema panel to the left. Remember, you create a database only once, but you must use it in every session before you can access its contents. Now, let's create our table, authors, with its columns. Enter the command create table authors open parenthesis. The red arrow marker to the left of the line will stay on the screen until you complete the command successfully, so don't worry about it. AU underscore ID medium int auto underscore increment comma. AU underscore first name vercare parentheses 50 not null comma. AU last name vercare parentheses 50 not null, comma, AU underscore birth date, date, not null, comma, AU underscore living, bool, default, true, comma, primary key, parentheses, AU underscore ID. There is no comma after the last line, but now press enter and key in a close parenthesis and a semicolon. Press enter. Run the command by clicking the lightning bolt with the keyboard cursor. In this style of naming columns, we've assigned a unique prefix to begin each table's column name. Note the self-explanatory data types. Medium-sized integer, character with maximum length of 50, date, and boolean to hold a true or false value. We have designated AU underscore ID to be the table's primary key so that MySQL will ensure that each author record has a unique value for the column AU underscore ID. Congratulations! We have learned how to create our first table in this fictionalized dataset. In subsequent episodes, we'll show you how to create more tables and accurately fill in row details for each column. Stay tuned for more! To keep us motivated to produce more of such high-quality free content, please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button below, leave a comment or two, and share this video with your colleagues, friends, and other budding data analysts. Thanks for watching! Until our next session, this is Manu Vasudevan wishing you a very happy Projects by Doing. Stay tuned and hit the bell icon below to be notified of our latest and greatest project videos.